A very warm welcome to the third quarter final of the FIFA Under-17 World Cup Mexico 2011. Today we're at the Estadio Morelos in Morelia for a massive game between European rivals Germany and England. Nice ball over the top. Yes, it was onto this. Pickford's come out. Now, did he get a hand outside the box? It doesn't matter because somehow Yezil scores and puts Germany in front. England allowing the Germans far too much space in the final third. And the man they call Gerd after the great Gerd Muller has done it again. Samat Yezil puts Germany in front. And many people's pre-tournament favourites for this competition lead in the quarter-final. Just wide. That's a good effort from Hallam Hope. Maybe feels he should have done better trying to just place it out the reach of Lahodimos. Achicek. Lovely little shimmy. Yezil. Lovely turn. Great strike. Foot of the post and away. Well, that would have been some goal from Samet Yezil that he hit the target. It was a lovely dummy by Yezil. And the ball stripped the foot of the post for England's relief. Chan, a bit of space again for Emre Chan. Away by Magri. Yalchin. On to Marvin Dux. Jordan Cousins just out of position slightly in towards Yesil. Comes right the way across, comes into Weiser. Good block. I'm not too sure Ben Brad Smith knew too much about that one. Actually, check with the corner. Good hand from Pickford. Comes out to Dux. Deflected in by Kant Ihan and Germany lead 2-0. Well, nobody picked him up inside the six-yard box. I'm not too sure the shot was going on target, but deflected in by Kant Ihan. And Germany lead England by two goals to nil inside 24 minutes. Pickford got a hand on the ball straight out to Marvin Dux, who pulled his shot, but Ihan stuck out a leg. <laughs> Jake Kasky straight into the wall. Sterling. Six in the centre. Chalba overhead, brilliant save. Wonderful save by Vlahodimos. And what a goal that would have been from the England captain. Good football all round. But it's a stunning moment in this quarter final. Well, a goal there for England would have made life. Very interesting indeed. Weiser, good play from Mitchell Weiser. Yes, Hill! He's done it again. And another extravagant celebration from the Germans, who lead by three goals to nil. And how quickly this game can turn, just moments after England nearly got themselves a lifeline. Germany have pulled further clear. Jake Kasky with the free kick. In towards Magri, can't keep the shot down. It's another glorious opportunity. Kasky. Powell, turn well, chance here for Powell, that'll be a penalty. Nick Powell goes down, and a chance for England to get back into the game. Nico Perry commits the foul. It's Magri against Vlahodimos. Here comes Magri, keeper goes the wrong way. And England have that lifeline. Still just over a quarter of the game to go, and England are back in it. And for the second time, the German keeper's beaten in the championships. Germany still having the lion's share of the ball, but England have been much better in the second half. Much more purpose, particularly going forward. It's Macri given away and out of position here and a chance for Germany to break it's three against two Dux has got Yezel with him might not need him good strike just wide well that could have wrapped it up for Germany Stefan Front knows it as well done brilliant strike Wasn't too far away with that one. Would have been another spectacular effort from Jack Dunn. Just away from that top corner.
Redmond. Back heel from Dutch, puts his side under pressure. Redmond, Dunn and Hope wait. Redmond went for the shot and turned in by Hallam Hope. And England have hope. They're back to 3 2. And a real chance now in the final eight minutes to put the Germans under some pressure. Trickery from Nathan Redmond. And the finish from Hallam Hope. And Germany have conceded again. It's a mistake in the corner. The back heel from Marvin Dukes that allowed in Redmond. Caught the goalkeeper out with a shot and Hope on hand to stab in from close range. That's just about it. It's a question of now what the Czech referee adds on to the four minutes. There goes the full-time whistle. Germany has survived. And England come back in the second half and have booked their place in the semi-finals at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. A thrilling game here in Morelia. And it's finished Germany 3, England 2.